Also new at 6 tonight, make sure to look up at the sky. This month's full moon will have stargazers seeing red. New 6's Amanda Castro is previewing tonight's total lunar eclipse, the first in Florida in nearly two years. The moon, earth, and sun are putting on a show tonight. There are certain times of the year where the alignment of the sun, earth, and moon are pretty much on the same plane. And uh, during a full moon, when the moon is on the complete opposite side of the sun uh, in relationship to the earth, the moon enters the earth's shadow that was casted by the sunlight behind it. And uh, we get to witness that tonight. And it goes on to about 1240, 1250 a.m. So it's actually a pretty long eclipse tonight. It's the first total lunar eclipse visible from Florida in more than two years. Derek Demeter is the director of the Emil Bueller Planetarium at Seminole State College. He says the moon should start passing through the Earth's shadow around 1020 tonight. It will start to darken, creating a partial eclipse, with the moon appearing to turn blood red as it gets deeper in the shadow. That's due to the atmosphere of the Earth, uh, basically uh, splitting the light from the sun into the rainbow. And so what happens is that the red light from the rainbow actually is focused towards the middle of the shadow. And when that happens and the moon enters the Earth's shadow, that red light is casted on the moon and creates that blood red color. He says it will be a total eclipse around 1130 and then start moving out of the Earth's shadow with the whole show ending around 2 o'clock Monday morning. Moon watchers can go outside and see the eclipse from anywhere in Central Florida. But Demeter says cloud cover could impact your views. I'm hoping for breaks in the clouds um, where we have a few minutes of clear. Maybe might have a lot of thick clouds, but there might be a few areas where it opens up. You know, wait for that opportunity, go up there and look. Amanda Castro getting results, News 6.